What's up guys? It's Awana Turtle again and we are back with more team up openings. It's been first box, so this is the second box. The first one was pretty good. Um, didn't we got most of the tag team cards. There's only one left that we have yet to pull and we have a special PSA card to wish us luck. So this is a small clue of the the tag team uh GX card that we have yet to pull and so no no I won't won't spoil it which one we're looking for but <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty good clue so let's start box number two of team up definitely enjoying this it's uh compared to the last couple sets um, I feel like it's much more exciting a brand new type of card to pull in the tag team series so it's been fun so we got 12 packs and let's see do we care about order oh wait a minute there's no uh <laughs> as far as the the one that we want they don't have a pack art for 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 it so we're let's go with Gengar's I feel like Gengar's pretty cool so we'll go with that one last and let's go in this order all right Starting box number two. Here we go. How are you guys liking the set so far? Uh, how many packs have you opened? What has been your best pulls so far? Oh my gosh, I still can't get over the packs. The cards, they feel different. The packs, they feel different. The cards, uh, I'm still not sure. I feel like just my assessment is just like they're very smooth, very little um, texture to them, which isn't, it's not a bad thing or anything. Um, did that incorrectly. I'm not sure what I just did. Tentacle, Ponyta, let's just find out. Grimer, Cosmog, Litten, Energy for some reason. Jinx, Kangaskhan, Nidorina, Cosmoam, and a Pinsir. What did I do? All right. The packs are just a little tricky to open. Actually, that one. That one went well. All right, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I think I got mixed. Oh, I was thinking of doing the uncommons, so so that you kind of reveal them. Commons, uncommons, then reverse foil. But clearly that's too complicated for me. So we have a reverse Dragonair and a Pidgeot. Hmm. That Pidgeot, it's like not bad. Although stage two I feel like is primary uh, problem there, but I feel like the spin storm is kind of interesting where everything just goes back to the opponent's hand. Uh, if they have like a Pokemon that requires a lot of energy, that can really set them back. All right, we got ooh reverse Kabutops. That's pretty cool. And we have Alolan Muck. Okay, no hits so far. So that was the Celebi Venusaur packs. Now we're on to the Eevee and Snorlax ones. All right, we got a fairy energy. Hitmonchan, Dragonair, Unidentified Fossil, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, Paris, Metal Goggles, Alolan Marowak. I've not been paying too much attention to what cards are shaking up the meta. Uh, from this set, but I am very curious. Uh, that is some, something I should look into. I feel like there's a lot of non GX cards that I feel like could really shake things up. So we got the Magic Carp, but we don't have his buddy Whale Lord. Thought we were gonna pull it. All right, next pack. The last of the Snorlax, Eevee Snorlax. Pack art. Oh, 
All right, Grass, Energy, Dual Blade, Flaffy, Morgan, Paris, Volavi, Pidgey, Honedge, Nidoran, ooh, Reverse Charmeleon. Ooh, at this point, I'm not sure if I have the Charmeleon, but I do have the Charizard and now the Charmeleon. And we got a Muck. It's interesting, there's a Alolan Muck and a regular Muck. All right, now on to the Zekrom and Pikachu pack art. Still have yet to pull our first Ultra Rare, which is a little concerning. In case you guys didn't see it, there was one disastrous box that we had. It was the Lost Thunder. I think we only got like two GX, and they were the same one. So I'm pretty sure there was no like no hyper rares, no full arts, or anything like that. It was terrible. We got a cleft key reverse. Ooh, here we go. Pikachu and Zekrom. So while we do have Pikachu and Zekrom ready, we don't have this variation. We do have the full art variation. So happy to see that one. Very nice. We've been pretty fortunate. So like, I feel like because of this new tag team mechanic. The, the regular um, GX's. So I think there's a Cabalion, there's a Lycanroc. Uh, I can't remember the other ones, but they, they, as far as ones that people want to hit, whether or not they're they're strong or not, I feel like people just naturally want these, these new tag team cards. So I almost feel kind of bad, although I'm definitely guilty. I want to pull that last tag team card. We got another Prism Star Wondrous Labyrinth, which we pulled before, and we have a Parasect. All right, next pack, Water Energy, Kabuto, Nita, Nidorina, Lin, Zorua, Weedle, Joltik, Blitzel, Golduck Reverse, and Absol, nice. Your opponent's Pokemon, Chikos is one more. Shadow Seeker for darkness and a double colorless energy. Attack does 30 damage for each energy and your opponent's active retreat cost. Hmm, that is interesting. When you consider like, you know, some of the big guys, they have high retreat costs, that would raise at three to four. So for two, uh, a darkness energy and a double colorless energy, uh, 30 more damage for each. So that would be four, that'd be, five, that'd be 150. That'd be a two hit kill on that. That's not bad for a basic. Uh, only 100 HP, but it's a non-GX. Although, for like, for really, for the meta, strange enough, sometimes two energy is too much. Unless there's like a good way to ramp it up, which for darkness, I'm not aware of one. You know, there's the, there's a couple ways to do, I think there's a couple ways to do fire and ways to do psychic. Water, energy, rev rem memory, reverse, which we don't care for, and bronzong. I'm curious about this card. Like, the fact that it can't be take fire damage. I find that very interesting. If Cephalon is still super relevant, this would be such a hard counter to that deck. Although, the thing about um, Pokemon is, like, compared to Magic, like, obviously Magic is... Or, I don't know, but obviously, but in my opinion, it's a much more complex game, a um, lot more in-depth mechanics, uh, but just the idea of having a sideboard, I feel like is enhances the game so much, and I don't understand why Pokemon doesn't adopt something similar. So we got, ooh, we got something. So we have a Reverse Weedle, and is it the Magikarp? Ah, oh, Latias and Latios. Won't complain. Um, but when it comes to, yeah, so like this one might be viable. You know, the has the, uh, it's Naga doll, I think it's the, no, the um, Inke into Naga is the other one that you, I think you can use for Placephalon. And this one is the, oh man, I can't remember it. But there's, there's a Malamar to ramp up 
Ghost Psychic, where you take a Psychic Energy from your discard pile and add it to one of your Pokemon. So maybe that makes this guy viable. Slap every occasionally do 240 damage, and if you have enough of the Malware, just kind of do that every turn. All right, so for our last pack of the first opening, we got two GXs across 12 packs. It's pretty good ratio. We got a Larvitar Reverse and Starmie. Starmie, or at least, you know, a lot of the Evolve, they have such low energy costs, which I find, you know, might be stuff, might be a lot more things can come to meta. Search for deck for a three of any combination of water and psychic energy. Attack some. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> All right, how do you ramp this up besides Malamar? Or maybe Starmie's the answer as well. Although this one you need, do need to attack where the other one can do it from the bench. All right, so that's the opening for our first opening for the second box of our tag team um, tag team set. We still haven't pulled that magic card no matter what we bring. Nothing is giving us the fortune that we need to pull that last card. It's all right, though. Um, maybe this just means we're saving it for... I don't know, our, our full art pull. Um, maybe we'll get the hyper rare version. The one that has like the art, one of them has a really cool art. I'm not sure if it's the full art or the hyper rare, uh, but that's one I definitely want. And uh, hopefully we'll get that one. But other than that, that's it. That's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy that content and want to see more tag team, hit that like button. Really appreciate it. Subscribe for future content if you're not already subscribed. And hit that bell just so you get a notification for all the new videos. We're going to be doing, uh, probably do at least one video tag team, team up video per day. Uh, so you can look forward to that. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it and have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.